Hey, we are back with another review and today we're checking out the rotary tool from Wen. so without further ado let's hop right into this review so straight out the gate you can see it comes in a nice little briefcase style storage case and inside the case you got everything that you need to pretty much do one project or get started um, you got your instruction manual over here in the top you got the unit itself which we'll take out you got a little tackle box you got the charger so checking out the the kit that it comes with, this is going to be um, sub 20s. I think I paid 23 for this shipped. It wasn't very expensive. Um, it's a seven, seven volt um, power. So, I mean, that's, we'll talk about that in a second here, but uh, let's check out the little kit they give you. You get a little cleaning brush. You get your sanding disc, attachment, drill bit, some etching tools. You get your cutter disc. Um, you get another one of those collets. You got some grinding implements you got your polishing that's for these little little pads you got your wrench to do the chuck and then here's your discs and your cutting wheels as well as your polishing little wheels as well now that's a neat little kit probably get you started on whatever project you're purchasing this for or to use but um i don't i wouldn't say you know you'd get long out of all this you'd probably use most of this in one project um so the etching tools might stick around for a little bit now, straight out the gate, I would definitely check, which I'm going to check actually after after this, is to see if this is the same thread pattern as the, um, whoops, as the Dremel. Well, yeah, I probably don't want that in there. Well, anyway, I could probably just group back in. Anyway, uh, to see if I could do a keyless chuck here so I don't have to have the wrench. Because I think the keyless chucks are like nine bucks, but you get, um, screw that down. There we go. And we'll see if it'll release itself or is it going to be stuck in there and i got to push it out with something. Probably have, to, probably have to stick it out with something. But anyway, we'll check it out. So back to this. Um, keyless chuck, you could probably do that, that little upgrade right there. And for 30 bucks, you can have a really nice 7-volt rotary tool with a keyless chuck, which is pretty cool. Which is kind of like, you know, some of the selling points of the larger. It does have four LEDs on the front, which is nice. So you get that halo effect and then here's the speed settings so it does it by increments of five and each one is thousands rpm so 5000 rpm 10 15 20 and then it ends at 25,000 uh, rpm at the top speed which you can see right there on the label so five to there's 10 15 20 plaid so the settings are nice too you don't you they're kind of recessed so i don't think you'd actually really hit those so that's pretty cool All right, just press the button and hold it and it goes off there's the charging port for it here is the vent for the brushed motor so again this is going to be brushed tool not brushless if you want brushless you're going to get in the 150 dollars rotary tool range which me personally i don't use these enough to be in the range where i need like a brushless professional rotary tool this is something that you know you pick up for a project and you use it um, occasionally for things this is going to be probably perfect for you now where this price range is at we're talking around 25 bucks for the when kit which you see here um in this price range you're talking the dremel equivalent is going to be a brushed motor cordless and it's not going to have a removable battery that mo that one i think runs around 35 bucks but here's the thing the one is seven volt the Dremel for the same price, pretty much or a little more, is going to be four volt. So you're going to get more power out of the WEN than you would out of the Dremel. So if you're going to go for this price range, I would definitely check something like this out. I have multiple power tools from them. I got a nice belt sander. Um, yeah, I got grinder, bench grinder from them. I mean, they make good tools, um, especially if you use them like occasionally, like something like this. So I don't know. I kind of wanted to check this out on the channel, get a little first impression. At. Like I said, I haven't used it yet. I do like the little rubberized grip up there, and it does have a nice textured plastic um, feel to it, so it doesn't feel like it's going like, to slide out of your hand. But I also think there's not a lot of grooves and things in this where you're going to need to clean because this thing's going to get like straight up, you know, mobbed on the front. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of, there's like those little two areas there of concern, but these are going to be your breathing ports for the motor. So definitely want to keep those clean, that's for sure. And that's why they give you that brush. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this, you know, mid $20 range full kit from when, you know, got a little pack out, little briefcase for storage. You have to get stuff all over. That would be a little rotary tool when you're 
you're not using it. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the Wen Rotary Tool Kit? And yeah, is it missing anything? Is there something better that's around this price range, around the $25 that's cordless? Um, I don't, you know, like I guess I don't think you're going to find a brushed one, but yeah, it'll definitely be brushed. But let me know down in the comments below what, you, what you've found that's around this comparable price range. So yeah, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more and have a great day.